everybody this is the go girl planner pro vertical hourly weekly planner now i just want to show you here's what it looks like when it's all sealed so let me quickly open it up so this planner is just short of the a4 size it's actually seven inches by 10 inches but here it is. It does come in a wide variety of colors. I chose the periwinkle because I think it's pretty. But here it is. Also, it has a pen flap, which is always nice. But here it is. Now let's crack it open. Now, it, I also should mention real quick, it's undated. So you can start or stop this planner anytime you want. Sometimes people love undated because, you know, life gets in the way things happen and then you fall behind on your planner all the things so then you can start and stop it whenever that works for you so as soon as you open it up there's a little instruction guide for tips and tricks to use the planner well things you can do things to fill out all the things basics fill out your dreams your vision goals and with this beautiful font that it has. Most important, one year goals lets you be able to set five. And then all the tactics, well, at least some. I mean, you could even split them into part columns so you could fit multiple tactic tactics inside there if you wanted to. So then it goes into three month goals for each quarter. I do believe one, two, three. Yep. So there's four of them. So you can set three month goals, obviously. So it covers the whole year. And then each goal, break it down, create a whole mind map if you want to for each one to help you achieve them, help you work through them, all the things you might need to do. And then it dives into my strategies which are the things you'll need to do to achieve your goals, all the things, create a life that you love over the north the next year, and then also create daily rituals. And then there's also a year at a glance for important dates, which, you know, is always nice and it doesn't matter what month you start it you can just plan even if right now is july i, I had to think about that for a second what month it is july so like i did start here and then all the way forward through and then have this go through next year all the rest of these so you have lots of ways to customize it you could also i mean if you wanted to even like white them out apologies for their girls focusing you know you could white it out and make these all birthdays or some other reminder or list that matters to you but love that i love it during future log and then there are all 12 months in front which then i do believe yes so then you can do the whole year and then it dives into each week. So as you can see, it goes from nine until six every day. This week's priorities, work-life balance goals, habit trackers, to-do list, with a little bit of space to customize what you want, which is always nice. And I do believe, is that it? Oh, no, no, no. We have more in the back. Yes, 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 we do. Okay, so that's right. So then we dive into the monthly budget, which is great. It's nice to have a planner that does a multiple multitude of things. So you can not only like plan your life, but keep track of your finances as well. So it's Ben's tracker. So you can diligently track each day and each thing over here. If you can see it, let my camera just focus for a second. If it, if it will, if it will, it should. There it goes. Okay. So the monthly budget, income, savings, category expense bills, spending analysis, 
and then even a whole little pie chart for you to fill in so you can see where most of your money goes each month, whether it's to rent or your pets or your car or whatever it is. So you can actually see it in a graph, which is kind of nice um, because you can divide it into categories or eating out or whatever it is and see it all in a pie chart. And then I do believe there's 12 months of those. Yes. Yes, there are. Hang on. Yes. And then it goes into a debt tracker. Oh, apologies. Apologies. Camera. Come on. Okay. And then a debt tracker. So all of the possible decks you might have depending on how many you have there are um two full sheets so eight yes so eight possible debts you can track throughout the year which is nice oh and then apologies there was one before that for savings tracker for different things to save for and then it goes into just a regular bill tracker so whatever bills you might have, month on the top, bill here, so you can track the bill throughout the year and see, you know, like maybe if your electric, electric bill or something went up or down, you know, summary of the year, income, expenses, different savings, which is a very cool little graph that would be amazing to look at at the end of the year and see how everything played out. Um, see your expenses, all the things throughout the whole year. And then that is pretty much it. A whole bunch of dotted pages in the back. So in the back are some stickers, which are always great. They have the little foil on them, as you can see in the light. whole bunch of different options to fully decorate your planner and get the most out of it. Oh, and I should mention it has 120 GSM paper, which is great for most pens, a variety of markers. Sharpies may or may not have a little bleed through, but that's to be expected. But... 120 GSM is great. That that will hold up with a lot of different kinds of options. But there are also three ribbons in the back, which is great that they're all different colored because you may use one for your weeks, your budget, your month, or something. But you may color code which one you want. Which would... So I'm probably just studying the camera here. <laughs> which would help you find it easily and quickly. So that is pretty much it. That is the Go Girl Vertically, Vertical Hourly Weekly Planner.